I love the idea behind these symmetrically designed paper mittens. So let's start out by making the symmetrical mitten shape. When you get two pieces of paper that are the same color, go around the mitten shape to get you started. You'll notice once I've gone around the mitten shape, I, when I cut it out, I should have two mittens all together. So just carefully take your time and go around the mitten shape. When you are finished cutting, you're going to open it up so that they're symmetrical, that the mitten shape is opened like a page in a book so that you have the thumbs that are touching each other. Now, let's go into making the designs and the patterns. Beginning with the end in mind, look at these really cool pattern shaped mittens. You can start with the shape first or design your pattern first. Again, I'm grabbing two pieces of paper. You do not have to do a star. You might do a heart shape, maybe a tree, maybe some type of design that you want to put onto your mitten shape. Who knows? The choice is up to you. Once you've got that glued down onto your mitten shape, um, you can go ahead and start putting your patterns on now. Or if you want to do your patterns first and then cut out and glue on a shape, the choice is up to you whichever you see, think that would work best for you. I like to outline my mittens. I want everybody to be able to see those mittens. It's the most important thing in my project. So I'm just taking a few oil pastels and making my own designs. I even added a few black lines to make it look like stitch work or patterned, like somebody sewed those stars onto my mitten. And now I'll use my oil pastels to make some interesting designs and patterns into my project. I know I had a ton of fun just taking some different colors and different patterns, different designs into making this project. I really think it makes the mittens really stand out and look amazing. Now I'm going to be taking some oil pastels and I'm thinking to myself from my background, I'm going to go ahead and use those pastels to make it look like um, trees or spray of um, bushes that could be um, used for the, my mittens. And so as I'm taking my spruce needles and adding that into my paper, I'm going to be using different colors of green. I think you saw me pull those out. Some light green, some dark green white and black. And in my head I'm thinking about, boy, how do I make these look as three-dimensional as possible? By adding value. So I'm going to use light colors on one side and darker colors on the opposite side. Using my light green on one side, my dark green and black on the other side, and just for some more added variety and interest, I'm going to make some snowflakes for my background as well. I think that this really makes my project look wintry and tons of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and let you enjoy watching the rest of the video and you can start thinking about what you want to add to your background as well. Now lastly, let's go ahead and attach the whole thing together. Grabbing some yarn, I'm going to go ahead and glue down my yarn onto my paper, make it look like it's hanging from one of the branches, and lastly I'm going to go ahead and glue the end of that down as well. Once it's glued down my yarn to my paper, I'm going to go ahead and add some glue to the back side of my mittens and stick that down right on top of the yarn. I just love the way this looks. Symmetrically designed mittens fit for our hallways. I hope you have fun and have a great day everybody.